babes. Look who decided to stop at my house. Hey. I'm so stoked to talk to you about a lot of gay stuff. Yeah, me too. Okay, great. <laughs> Perfect. Yes, we're on the same page. Let's play a little game of true or false. Okay. Ingrid, you, as an official lesbian, hate men. That's false. <laughs> <laughs> You're gay because you just haven't gotten any good D yet. I've had that said to me in real life and it that's a real thing that happened. True or false, lesbians have sexy pillow fights in lingerie before having sex. <laughs> I wish I that's could- how, That's what I saw in porn. <laughs> because that's a direct reflection of reality. <laughs> Oh, you know porn, it's like a documentary. I wish I could, I mean, maybe it happens sometimes, but I would say for the most part, that's false. Okay, what about lesbians move in together after two dates? Um, you know, maybe for some people, but I think also that's another false. false. <laughs> Generally false. Okay, true or false, in your relationships, one of you wears the pants. Oh my gosh, false. False, you both wear dresses. Cool. <laughs> True or false, lesbians come in exactly two varieties, butch and femme. False. But you're femme. Butch? No. Did I get it wrong? <laughs> oh shit. True or false, lesbians are totally accurately represented in the media. Oh god, I wish all of these, I wish this were true. I really wish this were true, but unfortunately it's very false. It's really weird how these were all false. I know. What is going, I gotta have like one here that's uh, true. Oh, oh, here's one. True or false, lesbians all have cats. Oh my God. I have a cat. So oh, I, hell yes. I knew it. I am living up to this stereotype <laughs> and very proudly. I, I knew that there was at least one that was true. So these are all stereotypes yeah. about lesbians, of which there are many. Um, most are false. Yep. Right? How do you feel about how lesbians are represented in the media, you personally? I don't think that there is enough accurate representation. I think even if we look at a show like The L Word, which did have actual lesbians and bisexual women mm -hmm. on the show, um, if you just look at their general presentation in terms of how they express themselves physically, like mm -hmm. through the way that they dress, it's very femme. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing wrong with being femme, mm -hmm. but the reason why they did that was to appeal to Lay a, male, the truth. a, male, <laughs> a male audience because you know, there's a lot of sex in the L word and a male audience is going to want to see femme on femme sex. Right. Well, you came out online about a year ago. Yeah, right? it's like a, almost a year and a half, I think. You probably came out to your friends and family first, yeah. right? And then you came out online. Yeah, and I, that kind of came about after I really just, it, everything got really crazy with work. I was also dating a guy at the time. Mm. I felt like I was going through a personal crisis and all of these things just kind of came to a head. Sure. And I broke down mm. and left LA for like two months and just went to New York by myself. Um, and that- I'll Figure shit out trip. Yeah. I love those trips. I know, me too. I just took one of those to Iceland. And you know what? It's good to just get some headspace. Yeah. And so that's where you realize I need to do this. Yeah, is that was kind moment? of the turning point in terms of, okay, this is something that I'm coming to terms with, mm -hmm. but how the fuck do I do this? Because I realized, you know, I'm in a relationship with somebody else and I'm not the only person that is going to be going through this. Sure. One thing that was incredible in that process is that he didn't make it about him. He, after reflecting on everything, realized, you know, I should have recognized that there was clearly something, you were going through something, yeah. and I'm sorry that I wasn't there for you. My family is a different story, and I kind of keep that, you know, just for myself, sure. but um, I don't have a relationship with the majority of the people in my family. I have a relationship with one person, and that is my choice mm -hmm. as of right now. It doesn't mean that I'm not open to changing that sure. later on. But as I was driving over here, I actually had this thought. One of the most valuable things that I learned from coming out 
was you obviously want everyone to accept you and to be right there with you and there are definitely going to be those people who do that yeah but I think that there are still people in your life that genuinely love you but this is something that you've been sitting with for a really long time and they're just finding out sure and so I think it takes patience you know within yourself and you have to have patience with other people people as well because even though they may not respond perfectly it doesn't mean that they don't love you and they're not going to come around. I think that that is a really important point in general when it comes to sexuality stuff just you know people are always in a process with feminism stuff too yeah. people are always in a process and we're all in different places. What has your life been like this past year your first year sort of out as a public figure? There has been a lot of good and a lot of amazing things that have come out of coming out mm -hmm. and there has also been a lot of um, difficulty too. Mm -hmm. I think I definitely received a lot more hate than other people because I was shattering this stereotype, this idea and this image that people had in their minds about what a lesbian looks like. Mm -hmm. um, and so every single day, even now, I'm my identity is still challenged and people call me a liar and tell me that I'm just doing this for oh attention. Oh my God, people! <laughs> On, you know, the positive end, it really encouraged me to dig into my past and figure out, um, you know, just my story in general, my story as a whole, mm -hmm. and to figure out why I did certain things and, you know, why I kept my sexuality bottled up on mm -hmm. a much deeper level. Yeah. And I think coming out just made me want to know myself even more, which yeah. I think is a really beautiful thing. There's all this bullshit floating around that we all live in. Um, <laughs> Just swimming in a sea of bullshit. <laughs> How do we make things better? What do you wish that you had known or learned in sex ed or from the people around you when you were growing up? I... I wish, honestly, that I had just learned more acceptance. I think that I was always told you know, what I should do and what I should be instead of what I could do and who I could be. Instead of having like, here are the possibilities in front of you, it was like, nope, this is what you must be. And anything outside of that is not okay. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think that should, could area would have been, would have made a huge difference for me. We're gonna keep pushing it forward. Yeah. And you are quite the soldier yourself. Thank you. You have been such an, um, seriously, you are such a positive force on YouTube. Thank you. I really appreciate your presence, all that you do with your time. Thank <laughs> you, this means a lot. I told you this in person, but um, watching your videos was a huge stepping stone for me in terms of becoming comfortable with being a sexual being. Mm -hmm. And I've learned so much from you and I want to thank you for creating that space. I'm so happy! <laughs> yes! This is turning into one big love fest. <laughs> it's a mush fest right now. So you all should totally check out Ingrid's stuff. It's fantastic. Also the podcast we did, yes. I'll link that below. And we might shoot a video right now. I'll also link that below. This yeah. is so much fun. It's fantastic. I'll see you all next time. Bye guys. Mwah. Mom, oh. What?